What's your worst fear when you go on vacation? Well, one of mine is getting lost in a big city I've never been in. And you can get lost with a GPS. And you say, well, how can I get lost with a GPS? That's what they're for. Well, guess what? You bought that GPS a couple years ago and you didn't update it. So it doesn't know about that new off-ramp that you should have took a mile back. And you find yourself in a vicious loop for the next hour. This video is going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can update your GPS and never get lost again in one of these. Let's get started. Okay, this video is going to be on how to update your Garmin GPS. You know, I did a video about a year ago, but the software has changed a little bit, and I thought it would be a lot clearer to follow the instructions if I updated the video. Now, uh, the first thing I do want to cover is, is, you know, make sure that your Garmin has um, a model that ends with either LM or LMT. What that does for you is it allows you lifetime maps for free or lifetime maps and traffic for free. If your model doesn't have this, I wouldn't even bother going to their store and buying the maps. They're very expensive, almost the uh, same price or, or uh, a little less than buying a new GPS. And I'll include links on a very affordable uh, Garmin in the information section. And I'll also have links on how to get the software. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is go to Google and let's do a search for Garmin Express. And make sure that you pick a Garmin site. Okay, sometimes, you know, these videos get a little outdated and there's advertisements. And if the link doesn't end with Garmin.com, you want to stay away from it. So in this case, it just says Garmin Express and uh, we can click on that. And I'll have the exact link for you. Uh, this one up here in the information section of the video. So anyways, uh, in my case, I've got um, a Windows PC. So I'm going to click on the download for Windows. And uh, I'm using Google Chrome. So, um, you know, as soon as this download is done on the bottom left of your screen, we're going to be able to execute it. So it is now. I can tell it's done. So I'm just going to... Uh, Go ahead and click right on Garmin Express. It's going to open it, and that's going to start the installation, okay? And, of course, we have to check on I have read to uh, agree to the terms and conditions, and we're going to hit install. And if it prompts you with a window there, um, do you want to go ahead and just say yes? And once we get this installed, we're going to uh, hook up our... GPS and uh, get our maps updated. This particular version that we're dealing with is the newest. It's version 7.1.4.0. I think the last time I did the video, it was uh, version 6. So it's, it's a little newer. Okay, so it's uh, successfully installed. Let's click on the Launch Garmin Express button here. All right, so the first thing it wants us to do is add a device. So we're going to have to click on the plus sign here, and now it's prompting us, hey, go ahead and plug in your, uh, your device. So what we have to do is we have to take our USB cable that came with it. Now, if for some reason you can't find your cable, I'm going to have a link for that too. But uh, you can go to Amazon, and uh, I'll give you a link for that. And it's just a mini USB cable. But uh, let's go ahead and get back to our program. And I'm going to stick the mini USB cable into the back of the GPS. And then I'm going to plug it into the USB port of uh, the computer we're working on. All right, so I plugged it in, and... As soon as you plug it in, it's going to fire up the GPS. It might take a second. No big deal. And then Windows should detect it. Like I say, usually it takes no more than a minute. So 
let's say search again because I can tell that looking at my screen, my GPS isn't started up yet. So I'm just going to say search again. All right. We'll see what we get here. Now I can tell that Windows just found it. So there it is. Okay. Yep. It's a new V50. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's add that device by clicking on the button. Now we get this uh, registration screen, and I, I really don't want to do this right now. I just want to skip this. So all I got to do is click next. I don't have to put my email address in there. And uh, we're going to add a nickname. And, uh, you know, maybe you've got a couple GPSs out there. So uh, I'm going to, uh, this particular GPS goes in my truck. So I'm just going to call it the uh, truck new V. 50. All right, we can call it anything we want. It really doesn't matter. We hit next, and now it's going to check for updates. All right, so it's it found some updates, and it says estimated time, uh, one hour and 39 minutes. And, you know, this is a good point to bring up. Uh, when you're going to update your GPS, you don't want to do it 10 minutes before you're leaving on a trip. You want to do it a couple days before. And I'll speed up this video. I won't make you wait an hour and 39. So let's just click install all right now. And of course, we have to accept the conditions and uh, read these instructions. Do not unplug. That's, you know, it's uh, obvious that we want to keep everything connected. And we don't want to try to use your computer while you're updating it either. So let's just say continue. And this is going to go through. And like I say, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to speed the video up here and, uh, you know, it might say an hour, but uh, I'm not going to make you wait that long. And let's continue here as soon as this gets done. Okay, so uh, it didn't take over an hour. In my case, uh, looks like it probably took a total of about 12 minutes, but it really depends on your internet speed. It may take an hour, it may take a half an hour. So here we go. Updates complete. You're up to date. Okay, so once the updates are installed, you'll get this, uh, you're up to date, and that's it. You're done. Now, if for some reason you went to check for updates and uh, it didn't find any, just click that uh, refresh button again until it finds them and, uh, and then go ahead and install them. The other thing I wanted to cover that I think is really important and um, it's probably a good idea to do before you even do the update is uh, to back up your GPS. You know, you might have waypoints or specifications in there for the type of vehicle it shows for you going down the road that you spend time on. And, you know, you don't want to lose the waypoints especially. So all you have to do is open up your Garmin Express and pick the, uh, you know, Pick the unit that's at the top of your screen. Uh, it's going to show whatever's plugged in with their USB cable. And now we're going to go over here to Tools and Content. And go ahead and click on that. Once you're in that, you want to go over to Utilities. Okay. And by default, it's going to choose your Documents folder uh, that you have in Windows. In my case, it's Windows 10. So uh, that's my documents folder path it's going to choose right there and it's just as simple as going in and clicking back up now all right and, and that's it now if for some reason your GPS got wiped out uh, you had to do a factory restore on it and you're all bummed out because you lost your your waypoints or uh, any preferences you set on it uh, all you have to do is plug it back in and do restore backup, and uh, it's probably going to have you uh, browse to the backup you're going to go to. Now, it shows that uh, my backup was just done on today's date at 1254, and you would choose it and say restore. I won't do it now, but uh, it's that easy to restore your GPS if for some reason you had to restore it to factory specs or they had to give you a warranty if it it broke on you uh, you know uh, 
the other thing I wanted to mention too is, is you know, let's say you watch this video and you found out, unfortunately, that your GPS didn't have an LM or an LMT at the end of the model number. Well, in the information section of the video, I've got a link for you for one that's very affordable. Uh, it's called the uh, Garmin Drive 52. And, um, you know, there are also some other models in here if your, your pocketbook is a little bit bigger. But... Uh, that Drive 52 is a good model for you, and uh, I think, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a, a good replacement for whatever you had. The, uh, the map updates definitely aren't worth it if you have to pay for them, and, and I think that's it. You know, I think we've covered everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our Pompano Brownie channel, and that'll do it for this video.